in our present age. We have several examples. The example of Sheikh bin Baz. May Allah have mercy on him. Rahimullah. He had small means. He was blind. Yet, he was a scholar. Even though he was blind, he was one of the best scholars of his time. I give you the example of Sheikh Ahmed Didad. Six standard pass, challenge the stalwarts of Christianity. You have another example. Though not great, but unique. That's in myself. My example itself, though I don't consider myself great, but it's unique. Those who know my childhood, they know that I was a stammerer. If you would have asked me, what is my name? I said, my name is Za, 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 Zakir. That was me. I was a stammerer since childhood. Being inspired by Sheikh Ahmed Didad, while I was doing my medical studies, I could have dreamt of becoming the best doctor in the world, but I could not have dreamt of even speaking to 25 people. That was me, Zakir Nai. I could have dreamt of becoming the best doctor in the world, best surgeon, but I could not have dreamt in my wildest dream. You know, in your dream you can dream anything, but I could not have dreamt of speaking in front of 25 people. Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with his help, being inspired by Sheikh Ahmad Didad. Now this servant of Allah, humble, mashallah, speaks in audiences of tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, mashallah. You can see the audience here, more than 100,000. <laughs> My main aim, being inspired by Sheikh Ahmad Didad, when we started our foundation, Islam Research Foundation, it was not to become a speaker, it was to make a place to make speakers. You can't be a king, become a kingmaker. I could not become a speaker. So I started an organization to make speakers. Allah has his planning. The first speaker got cold feet. I was forced to go on the stage. And I realized that while I'm doing dawah with the non-Muslims, I don't stammer. When I speak with the Muslims, I stammer. When I speak with the non-Muslims, I don't stammer. When I'm on the stage, normally people stammer on the stage. Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When I went on the stage, I didn't stammer. He has his way. He made me from a doctor of a body to a doctor of a soul. And Sheikh Ahmed Didad, you know, asked him, uncle, in 1987, I met him the first time. You know, I was his driver, chauffeur. Wherever he used to go, I used to take him because so I could spend more time with him. And uncle, why are you so aggressive? He told me, son, I'm not aggressive, I'm militant. I'm militant. You can fight the devil with two ways. Holy water or fire? I chose the fire. That was his reply. And when I started my dawah, I used his material, but I was very soft. Very soft, very kind. No results. In the medical college, I used to do dawah. Then I became militant. More militant than Sheikh Didad. And wallah, what results I got. My Muslim friends used to run away. I was left alone with the non-Muslims. The results I got after being militant, then mashallah, Allah gave me daya. Coming more on the stage, I became soft. I became so soft that when the questioners abused me, I used to smile. So Sheikh Didat, then he gave me the title. First he gave me Didat Plus. Then when he saw me, son, they're abusing you, they're cursing you, and you're smiling. Then he gave me the title that son, what took me 40 years to achieve, you have achieved it in four years. <laughs> and Alhamdulillah. You know, if you know my history, my background, I was a person who always wanted something best. I could never compromise for number two. Best. In childhood days, I remember, best electronics. Now, I've converted my desire to have best things in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I want to have the best of camera, best of equipment, state-of-the-art equipment, only to spread the message of Allah. I want to have the best conference. And that's why we have this conference. It was my desire, after seeing Grammy Awards and Oscar Awards, objective is haram, 
but has to admire their science and technology. So we said, why can't we do the same for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? The purpose is different. The purpose is to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To show to the world that we Muslims also, alhamdulillah, all these things, not that without this we can't do dawah, but we want to show that even we want the best for the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we want the best office for ourselves, you know, we want best office in a house, Italian marble. I put Italian marble in my office in Islamic Research Foundation. There's no Italian marble in my house. Why? The place where people come to learn about Allah, I want to give them the best. At that time, when we 1990s, Italian marble in India, Muslim office, unheard of. We started small. We only 20 to 25 square meter was my office. 25 square meter of office. One employee. Now, mashallah, Allah's grace. We have more than 400 employees, mashallah. The largest DAW organization, mashallah. Allah's help. And in school days, I was very good in debating. Very good. What was the purpose? Just to win the debate. Now I change my purpose. Trying to spread the deen. Deen al haq. Got more results. First, I used to sleep only five hours, six hours, medical college. Now, sleep only three hours for sake of Allah. And I always had the philosophy of doing something unique or best in the world, one of the two. MashaAllah started a unique channel, Peace TV, on comparative religion. Allah made it the most popular channel in the world. More than 100 million viewers, MashaAllah. After a couple of years, we launched a new channel, Peace TV Urdu. Last conference, we announced, inshallah, in June or July, we will launch a new channel, Peace TV Urdu, and Allah made it possible. This year, on 19th of June, we launched a new channel, Peace TV Urdu. <laughs> inshallah, in this conference, the last day of the conference, inshallah, inshallah, if Allah wills, I would like to announce, we'll be launching a third channel, Peace TV Bangla. Because Bangla language, mashallah, a few hundred million people speak Bangla language. It's a requirement. My desire is to have Islamic channel in all the languages. But as for inshallah, after Ramadan, inshallah, next year, 2010, inshallah, if Allah wills, if Allah helps, with Allah's help, we will launch the third channel, Peace TV Bangla, inshallah. It was a desire that besides channel, have a place where people are trained for the purpose of life. And we started our school, Islamic International School. Purpose is to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But while pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you realize Allah, inshallah, will give you in the hereafter and even in this world. With the same desire. I started the school saying, inshallah, every student of the school, an Islamic international school, we have more than 400 in Bombay and about 250 in Chennai. Inshallah, all of them, inshallah, all of them will get 100 times better teaching and surrounding than what Zakir Naik got. It is up to Allah whether he creates Zakir Naik's or multiple, but our desire is give them a base, give them a foundation where they can have 100 times better training, foundation, atmosphere than what Zakir Naik had. But it is in the hands of Allah whether he makes or not. And just to give you one more example of my son, Farik Naik. You know my son, 
Mashallah, as I told you in my speech, day for yesterday. I don't know Arabic as a language. I said I will teach math and Arabic, inshallah. And all the students of our school we taught, mashallah. My son, when the school started, mashallah, he got the best sports boy trophy. Not once, not twice, not three times, not four times, for five consecutive years. It made me happy. It made me happy. You know, because we used to think, you know, when I was in school, when I was in school, I used to admire. Coming out first, getting gold medal, that was my goal, you know. Youngster, though, coming out first in 100 meter dash. In school, I never got any medal. When I reached college, mashallah, I discovered that I was a long distance runner. And I got a gold medal in the medical college. In 10 kilometers. But then I realized, gold medal, useless. Good. From far it looks good. What is the gold medal? 10 kilometers, people are pretty, nothing great. Then I was inspired by Sheikh Ahmad Didad. Ah, this is the man. And my focus changed. And that's how, mashallah, he told me that, son, I have done research and study in Christianity and Islam. You study other religions. Christianity is like everything on a platter. Sheikh Didad did the job so well, everything on a platter. It's a cakewalk. If you read Sheikh Dida's book, you can even debate the Pope. So then I studied Hinduism, Sikhism, Jainism, science, other subjects, and mashallah. As to admire the crowd that Sheikh Dida, the largest audience he addressed in Birmingham, 12,000 people. Mashallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mashallah. He opened up the pathways with his help. Mashallah, my son. Then became Hafizul Quran at the age of 13. Unique style. One year, five days a week. Unique. People said Zakir is crazy. One hour every day, five days a week, nine months a year. Impossible. Most of the students in our school, within two and a half to four years, they completed his. And one amongst them was my son. Then my son got black belt in Taekwondo. But what? really pleased me was when he started giving lectures in public. At the age of eight, small lectures, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 50,000 people, 100,000 people before my talks. The first time I gave a lecture, public lecture, was the age of 27, 28. People used to tell me, oh, what a young person, 28 years used to feel. 28 years old. Shaykh Dida, 60, 70, 28 years, we used to feel happy. My son, the first long public lecture, of more than 1 hour 15 minutes with 119 quotations, 56 from the Quran, 52 from the Bible, and 11 ahadith with Arabic at the age of only 14. Half my age. That pleased me. MashaAllah, 1 hour 15 minutes, 119 quotations without any notes. And this year, MashaAllah, again he gave a lecture. Just last week, last Sunday, he gave a lecture. This Sunday again he gave a lecture. First misconception of Islam, concept of God. Inshallah, inshallah, I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he accept his efforts. And always tell, I tell my son, that Allah has given you the means. But see to it that make your requirement small. Make your requirement less. Why? Tomorrow you may not have this luxury. Your aim is to do da'wah. As Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Fusila, chapter 41, verse number 33. وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ نُكَوَلَمْ مِنْ مَنْ دَعِي لَلَّهِ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحَوْنْ وَقَوَلَا إِنَّا نِمْنَا الْمُسْلِمِينَ Who is better in speech than one who invites to the way of thy Lord, works righteousness, and says that I'm a Muslim? Why I say? I remember when I married my wife, I told her, I'm a doctor, I can promise you only 4,000 rupees a month. 4,000 rupees is less than 100 dollars. I can only promise you 4,000 rupees a month. If you want to marry me, marry me. And mashallah, she was a teacher in the college, earning much more than what I promised her. But she also wanted to die. Mashallah. So I tell my son, make your requirements less so that if you're used to sleeping on the floor, if you're used to taking all the troubles, if you have to sacrifice 
and yet continue your dawah, it's easy. If you're used to luxury, and if the luxury is taken away from you, it will prevent you from continuing as a dai. MashaAllah. I've seen to it that my son has slept on the floor. He has been in seven-star hotels. Train the person when he's young. He should be able to take the struggle of life. Don't give him a silver spoon in the mouth, which will be difficult for him to achieve the purpose of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.